guys, welcome to today's video! I can't even smile because my braid is so tight. Since I got a tattoo very recently, just a few days ago, I thought I would make this video while it's fresh in my memory. Today's subject is how to manage and deal with the pain of getting tattooed. What you need to know before watching this video is that pain is different for everyone. So I'm going to talk out from my own experiences, what works for me and what doesn't work for me. And this does not have to go for you, but if you're getting a tattoo and it's gonna hurt really bad, then maybe these tips are worth trying out at least to see if they actually do help you. And if not, no harm done. Personally for me, when I get tattooed in my legs or in my arms, what I can do is to kind of isolate the area that's getting tattooed. So if I'm getting a tattoo on my arm, it's pretty easy for me to remember and remind myself that it's just my arm hurting. My body, my like the rest of my body is not hurting. So I usually just chop off the area or the limb that's getting tattooed and I focus on isolating it from the rest of my body so everything does not hurt. However, when you're tattooing your like torso or your chest, there's no way of isolating that because it is your body. It is in the middle of your body and you can't really think away a piece that is basically connecting all the other pieces of your body. So that is what I find really difficult with getting this main area tattooed. Another thing that's a bitch when you're getting your main body part <laughs> tattooed is that you have to lay, lay down and you have to lay stretched. Um, for anyone out there who has had bad like period cramps or anything like that, if something really hurts, you want to be in a fetal position, cramped together, you do not want to stretch out. And the same goes for tattoos, that when you're getting tattooed and you're lying stretched out, all you really want to do is just cramp together and be like, ah, get the pain away, but you can't. And that's another thing that's a major bitch when tattooing that area. So. The first tip is basically to try to isolate the area if you can, but if you can't, this tip is completely useless. The second tip, or the second thing that some people might want to do, is squeeze something, like have a teddy bear or someone's hand and squeeze it really hard, or like bite down on something. And this might work to a certain extent. However, when you bite down on something, or when you squeeze something really hard, you're, you tense up. Like, not only the part that you're squeezing tenses up, but your entire body tenses up. And that makes you kind of focus on the pain even more. And no matter how difficult it might be, tensing up will make it worse. During half of my lower stomach tattoo that I got a few days ago, I... There was, I, I just couldn't, my, my brain was not like strong enough. My blood sugar was low. I hadn't had a snack in a long time. And all I could do was really like just tense up my entire body and try to like really just suffer through the pain. But it did really make it worse because when I caught myself doing this, I decided to try to just relax. And when I was laying there relaxing, it did not hurt as bad. It, it still hurt, of course, it still hurt really, really bad. But when you relax, I was like thinking like, this is temporary and feel the pain and feel the line that's being tattooed and then it will be over and just relax and that makes it many times easier to deal with, in my opinion, than when you tense up and squeeze something or bite down on something. So really, really, really do try to relax. So what's going through my mind in the darkest times <laughs> where it hurts so bad that uh, I don't know what to do? The absolute worst thing I personally can think is like, I don't want to do this anymore, I hate this, this fucking sucks, I miss my puppy, I miss my boyfriend. Those are the worst thoughts that I can think while getting a tattoo, because that makes me almost want to cry, because it's never gonna fucking end. I try to stay away from those thoughts as much as possible, but sometimes, as I said, when blood sugar is low, when I don't feel psyched about it, you kind of slip into those dark places, but you really should try to get out of it as soon as possible. Another thing that I, I found myself thinking a lot during the last tattoo was just like, it's not dangerous pain. This pain is not dangerous, I am not dying and I just kept repeating that over and over and over again to kind of I don't know if it works or not it might be placebo I have no idea but it feels like I'm trying to convince my brain not to send out like 
SOS, you're fucking dying over here, signals to my body. If I try to like really tell my brain that I am okay, it feels like it's easier to just accept the pain, feel the pain and just take it and then move on. It might sound really like weird and mumbo jumbo crap, but when it comes to dealing with pain, you really have to do whatever works for you. I have tried a few times to kind of listen to music or to watch series or do like be on my phone or whatever while getting tattooed and that works for me up to a certain point. When I can be on my phone, when I can watch series, when I can listen to music or whatever, that's the time when the pain is overall manageable, which means that I might as well not be on my phone or watch series on my computer or whatever. So if the pain is bearable enough for me to be able to do those things, then I don't technically need those things to cope with the pain. But once again, if you want to try to distract yourself in any way and that works for you, then big thumbs up, do that. Last but not least, we have a thing that's pretty much insane. Um, <laughs> another one of these, do whatever the fuck needs to be done to cope with this and get the tattoo finished. But that was to fake laugh and fake enjoy the pain and getting tattooed. And I probably wouldn't do this unless my friend was tattooing me or the person tattooing me was my friend. But I was lying there fake laughing. Yeah, perfect, so nice, that was a Great line, loved it, oh my god, yeah, more shading, woo! And it really did help, it really, really did. And that's the extreme of keeping a positive mindset and not slipping into these dark thoughts of I'm not gonna be able to make this. That was the only thing that could make me survive the last part without killing my friend because fuck, it was hurting so bad. So these are some of the different ways that I cope with the pain of getting tattooed. The pain is so extremely temporary and you can definitely do it. You can do way more than your brain thinks that you can do. And from a tattoo artist perspective, I'm not a tattoo artist, but like it's very important that you try to remain as still as possible. Because if you start twitching, if you start moving, if you start jerking, off, it's gonna fuck up the tattoo and make it really difficult for your artist, which by default, we'll make it take even longer. So I'm not gonna guarantee that any of these tips will work for you, but if you're getting a tattoo anytime soon, then it might be worth thinking about to try to relax and try to just sit through it. Stay away from painkillers before getting tattooed, stay away from alcohol before getting tattooed, and make sure you eat. Eat, 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 eat food, because if you're feeling faint, if you're feeling weak, then the pain will be so much worse. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions or anything, comment below and I'll try to answer them for you. Swedish word of the day is food. <laughs> Swedish word of food is mat. Mat. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my links below to keep up to date on everything that I do. Until next time, have a super duper good one, guys. I'll see you later.